Let's do the uh, the tea. Okay, let's do the tea. Um, I'm not very familiar with Taylor Swift lore. Mm -hmm. I do know that I like her. Yeah, me too. Based on videos I've seen, stuff she's said, mm -hmm. I think she's cool. I like her. All right, we love the tea swizzies. So what is the premise here today? So the premise here today is that um, Taylor Swift and her boyfriend of six years recently broke up, and now there's a lot of speculation because she's on tour, so she's widely seen every day. People are speculating that she has a new boo. Okay, how, how long has it been? It's been a weekend. I'm going to take you through it. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. I always... Uh... It's been a whirlwind of a weekend for Twitter. Okay, wow. Yeah. So. Taylor Swift and her booze are players. Ms. Taylor Swift. Swift. So this is her ex. Yes, Joe Alwyn. They dated for six years. So wh who is he other than handsome? He's an actor. Ian was saying that he hasn't really seen him in anything recently. I had never seen him in anything, but um, yeah, he hasn't really been working recently. Uh, Broke. He's an actor. Dude, you, um, got, you gotta be like, to date Taylor Swift, I, you have to be very secure. You gotta be, yeah, you gotta be, you can't, you gotta be working. Mm hmm. Mm. You can't be threatened by her success because she has so much of it. No. No. Mm -mm. I, not to say that he was. Oh, he was. You think? The man, Maybe. he doesn't have a job. <laughs> well, okay, so Maddie Healy, he is the lead singer of the 1975, a little bit controversial. Bad boyish looking. Bad boyish, yes. Huh. Um, they were rumored to be to have been dating about ten years ago. They definitely at least hung out, and there are a few songs that are like speculated to be about each other. But it's been a decade since. Now, what's then. what's controversial about Maddie? Uh, Matt, uh, Brittany Broski talked about it a little bit when she was here. Um, just like there are things that he has done that I, I I'll get butchered if I get anything wrong. So <clears throat> okay, so he's a, he's a okay okay yeah some insensitive comments and I think more yeah stuff okay so Splitsville Joe and Taylor broke up and it was announced by Entertainment Tonight on April 8th and the world lost their minds let me ask you this yeah how does Entertainment Tonight find out they broke up do they give a press release to I think what happens is that um, when a celebrity wants news to break they will have one of their like intels who's in touch with each media outlet, they'll like reach out to their specific rep at the news outlet and they'll say, hi, I have a tip, Joe and Taylor broke up, and then it'll be reported. That's wild, they gotta seed their own yeah, it's like an relationship insider. status. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they broke up. We yes. thought that they were gonna be together forever, even we though he was broke and jobless. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Um, this is one of my favorite, favorite comments ever. This was underneath Entertainment Tonight's uh, announcement. It this says, is. delete it, please. There's a lot of people asking to delete it, please. Several people asking, please delete it. We beg you. There are people feeling sick. People are seeing this. There are people crying. Delete it, delete it, please. People are feeling sick. This is, everybody's asking you to delete. And wow. it has over 3,000 likes. Because it's just too like traumatic. It's too triggering. I think because she's released so much art that is seemingly dedicated to him, people feel connected to their relationship. It's traumatic. This yeah. breakup, they're breaking up with him. They're breaking. Everybody else is breaking up we with feel, Joe as yeah, well. We feel, yeah, we share in her pain, yeah. of course. Absolutely. So this is a serious comment. Yeah. And how old do you think this person is? I imagine there was a bit of irony written into it, but they so. meant it. It's hard and to tell. I think young adult. Okay. I don't think like 12. No. No, I think like near my age. Okay. Wow. <laughs> um, Taylor and Joe have broken up ET reports. What the fuck does he know? Okay, those I are agree. good. Those are good. I like those memes. Okay, so this is the first time Joe has is seen since news of their breakup. Mm. If you, I zoomed in on the next slide if you want to take a peek. He does not People were like, good. oh no, he doesn't look good. Mm. Wow. Yeah. You, you think she dumped his ass. Looks like There's it. a lot of speculation about it. Some people, some like news outlets said an insider told them he was actually threatened by her success. So some oh, people think that's that. A real yeah. Thing. Another one. Some people are speculating that she cheated on him, but then all of her friends unfollowed him, which they didn't unfollow all her. Like Calvin Harris is her another one of her ex boyfriends. Someone like Gigi Hadid, who's best friends with Taylor Swift, still mm -hmm. follows Calvin Harris, but Blake Lively, Gigi, and Ryan Reynolds all went out. 
to dinner with Taylor Swift, and right afterwards, they all unfollowed Joe. So oh. people are like, I wonder what that means. Wait, they actually tracked the timeline of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, people are so wild. They went, ate dinner, mm -hmm. and then people noticed the time. Yeah. What in the it shit? It was a lot of, it was like the Heim sisters too. They all unfollowed him. So people were like, I wonder if he did something bad, but. He must have. But I don't know. He must have. I want to know. That's all, I, that's all I have to say is I want to know. So Taylor is on her eras tour right now. It's her, her tour. It's an accumulation of all of her eras, all her albums. It's a huge deal. Tickets were a mess to get. Let's go. She's under intense uh, public scrutiny. Scrutiny. Yeah. Okay. Suddenly, the sun out of nowhere on May 3rd reports that Taylor has a new boyfriend, Maddie Healy of the 1975. Okay. So the world is like, w -w 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 hold on. I thought that we were grieving this relationship we were all obsessed with for six years. And but, what, what was the time difference here? I see you have the date. So this is April 20th. Yeah, he was seen for the first time April 20th. They announced April 8th. April 8th? Tonight. And then we're looking at... However, we Almost have, a month later. Yeah, we do have to keep in mind that they could have broken up way before that. We would have known. You think? You think our insider would have I told them Entertainment right. Tonight we earlier? Known. We would have known. I think right. he's right. I mean, with the, with the closeness people follow... Yeah. Right. Is this guy I Taylor knew Swift worthy? Something was up. Do we stand him? Is he is he good enough for her? We don't know yet. The new dude? Yeah, the I new I will dude. say 1975's music I do like. Okay. I need to do some digging. I wasn't sure if I knew any of their music uh, when we were talking about it for the show. Like I I've heard of that band a bunch of times. Um there's one song that you definitely have heard all the rest of it. I was like I have no idea what this you is. You like it? So. The one song is like kind of okay, mm. but the other ones I listened to was not vibing with. So. <laughs> Matt Healy age. He looks kind of young. Oh, he's 34. Okay. Yeah. They're a uh, perfect age for each other. But so. this is not marriage material. I can tell, girl, like you need a real man. You think no marriage material? No, on he's a bad boy rocker. He's not going to be good for yeah, her. He's oily. He's definitely Husbands oily. Husbands aren't good when they're oily. He's, he's oily. not going <laughs> to. <laughs> what? So he's not going to be loyal. You he's think? He's not going to respect her. Interesting. <laughs> No I way. wonder, he's very, like, sappy, though. He's sappy? Yeah. Kind of beta-ish? Sigma-ish. Sigma, goes yeah. his own path? Like, Sigma's broody -ish. Okay. As long as he's not beta. As long as he's not beta. Sigma. Sigma's good, actually. Yeah. Really good. We could hit Sigma. Sigma's really good. So, the next day, people are freaking out. They're like, Where, what, what is the base for this? Like, 1975, they were in the Philippines performing taylor was in nashville performing like why did, why are they saying this all of a sudden we have no we have no proof however may 4th the day after maddie says in the philippines into the camera this song is about you you know that and i love you okay, the next hold on. day what what am i watching here so here after Maddie mouthed that into the camera, he was at Era's tour. He went from Philippines to Nashville. He was sit in the audience at Taylor's show, and she looked into the camera on stage and goes, this one's about you. You oh, know she that, said that, and I him? love you. He said it on stage the night before, and people are saying that they, they both, both said, said it, it on stage. They did both say it on stage. You can look. This is about you. You know that, and I love you. Oh. What, did she say it into a mic or no, did she just word it? No, it's like she's talking to him. <laughs> no, 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 you just have to watch. You just have to watch. Wait, so the audience didn't hear it? You just had to read her you lips? You can read her lips, yeah. Jesus, that's pretty subtle stuff, guys. <laughs> well, I mean, people are pretty smart. <laughs> I'm not seeing her lipping it. You'll see. Just watch it. This one's about you, she said. I've watched it like 10 times. Okay, watch him first then. This is about you. You know. Oh, so he didn't also say it. He did this first. <laughs> So neither of them said it into the mic. No, which is why everyone's like, obvious. he's saying it to the camera. You know what I'm saying? And he was in the, the audience live? the night that she did it. Okay, if they're actually there. Oh, they're there. He was there the night that she did it. He was in the Philippines not with her the night before when he did it. So people are like, oh, that's their message to each other. He's drinking on stage? This and is not good for And it was also before he's saying she's American, which people speculate is about her. I don't like that he's drinking on stage. Like he this, always He does. needs to grow up. 
If he's going to be a good man to her, that's no. Inter- you know, he also eats like raw steak on stage. Maybe that's he needs disgusting. to grow up. <laughs> Only babies eat raw steak. Taylor, you can... Mm-mm. This is about you. Oh, people are saying she she's saying you know who you are, not you know. This is about you. So let's see that. So let's go back to Taylor's. And I this love you. This one's about you. Why is I think that? you know I think that. You know that. And you say that they're like. And I love. I you. love you. I'm sorry. This is kind of ridiculous. Not really. They're kind saying of? the same exact thing. <laughs> No, I don't I, really I, I think see. it's ridiculous. So wait, he's not in the audience though, and this one. Yes, he is. But and then she wasn't in his. She audience. wasn't in his audience. He, and did, he it did it first the night before. He was in the audience the next night when she did it. Do we see? You really think they're coordinating this? Like, yeah. Taylor Swift is the queen of Easter eggs, first of all, and second she of all, is? I feel like before they sing songs about. The person they're dating, if it's like, this one's about you, and it's like, oh, he said something so cute about me last night on stage, I'm going to say the same thing. What if oh. it's about her ex? You think? <laughs> She's like... Was well, it a new song? How recently did the song get written? I... Is she re-gifting a song right now? She's de- It's a dedication. Is this a re-gift? What was the song? I, I don't know what song she was about to Well, sing. hold on, guys. Before you say that we're reaching... This tweet says, starting to feel like I'm a documentarian. What are you planning, Taylor Swift to Maddie Healy? This is not normal behavior. 50,000 likes. Yeah, because they said the 7 same million exact thing. views. So there has to be something to it, right? I mean, the fact that he was there in the audience gives yeah. it a lot more. Yeah. And there's more. We've got more. Yeah, I'm going to need a little more, though, before I oh, buy it. Oh, we've got a lot. Okay. You know, I'm not doubting what they said. I believe you 100% on that. Mm-hmm. But why are they doing it, do you think? Do you, do you think they want to do like, they're they're flirting. Flirting. They're a little bit? They're flirting. Yeah, so they're not doing this to like kind of just stir the tea. I think like, both. With the fans. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Taylor loves to do that, and I love that she does that. Okay, so then the next night, he performs on stage with Phoebe Bridgers, who's Taylor's opener. And then he was seen dancing in the audience with her while Taylor was on stage. That's cool. He's there. Next. So Phoebe, Phoebe is her Bridgers. opener. Yeah. And he's dancing with her? Yeah, they've been rumored to be dating before, but people this are like... This is messy. What kind of mm-hmm. dancing are we talking about? Do we have video of it? About? No, just like dancing along to Taylor Swift singing. They weren't like grinding. Not like with each other. Got it, got it, got it. Right. Just vibing. Okay. Okay, okay this that's... is my favorite part. Yeah. This is May 7th. So the night that he was brought on stage, he went out into the audience and hung out with, that's Gigi Hadid, one of Taylor's best friends. So he was in like the Taylor Swift friend box and he was videotaped and photographed during Taylor Swift singing her song, Lover, pretty much melting. And then Gigi like put her hands on his, uh, on his shoulders, like, yeah. That's a done deal. I feel like that is like, that's cute. Like that's her being like, oh, you are dating my friend. Why did she turn around so fast though? The turnaround on her last boyfriend was really fast. On a six-year relationship, people are talk- people are talking about it. <clears throat> they say like one month for every year to get over. You think she should wait six years? No, one month for oh, every one year. Month. Six, six months. Six months to get over. I was like six years. Wait, how long was it after they broke up? Well, it was announced by Entertainment Tonight on April eighth. A month, less than a month. Yeah. Really scandalous. But also, like, who knows? I know Jordan. If, we're already at the tri- "I love you" stage. Okay, what about yeah. if if a you month? were with someone for six years? Let's imagine they were having problems for like. I mean, if it's a six-year relationship, maybe like at least a year. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's it's by the time you've broken up, you're like, I'm ready. And month? <clears throat> That's a little. You're Soft pushing launch. it. Okay, Jordan Peterson. You're ready to maybe go find a rebound, but uh, like, I love you. Right. These huge public displays. It is. A little wild. I know that Taylor has a a history of fraught relationships that she writes music about, right? She has what? She has like contentious, fraught relationship breakups. Um. She's always writing music about her exes. I know that. Is that right? Yeah, people do say that a lot and like yes she does allude to exes but like when you really think about it so does most (laughs) musical artists talk about their life you know that's fair like yeah she's writing songs about being in love because she was she was in love you know okay well this is definitely happening you can tell that's what it yeah Yeah, there's no question there's no question yeah right after those photos of Gigi and um uh and maddie went viral on twitter that's when we were 
hit with pop base, they were photographed heading to her Nashville condo. Boom, done. Oh, the condo? Yes! The condo! Okay, Matt. And then I included... Hopefully that old other idiot's moved out by now. Joe, he's in London. Um, and then the next one I just included, one of our own tweeted something very funny, I thought. Oh, yes, <laughs> Matty <the> Healy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the phone. Is that actually him, though? Like, I know it's a yeah. joke, but like... <laughs> it is, but it's hilarious that we know it. Wait, that's the... Hold on, I didn't even pay attention to the post. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm not hating, but how can you tell? I know <laughs> it. Looks like the grudge or some nah, shit, you know? That's a smoking gun right there. Yeah. I know that Nick. Yeah, it's a smoking gun right there. I know they that Nick. That's a ghost. That's not Matt Healy. We all know that's Matt Healy. That's an orb, bro. Yeah, that's... Call Linda, man. Yeah. That's, that's a ghost. We is need he, to get is Linda. Is it someone covering their face? Is it... I can't tell at all. Is it, it, It's just kind of weird. Looking. What are we supposed to be taking away from these photos? <laughs> it's Holy shit. It's like shit. a head crab. It's a Rorschach test. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see here? I don't even see a human figure. Wait, this is real? They published it like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's big news. <laughs> Yo, I damn. saw it and I was like, damn. okay, confirmed. Got 37 it. million views on this tweet. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you know, it's giving Prince Philip kind of... Like, yeah. you know, that, that classic photo. <laughs> when he's like a corpse in the car. Yeah, yeah, A yeah. little bit. No, but for real. You can even do... see that more clearly than this. I am a little bit confused how... That's him. I don't even see a human figure. <laughs> Wait, it's... He, no, he's he's looking at... It's like Yeah, he's this. looking at her. He's like looking at her. Yeah. Away from the window. He's facing her. That's like his ear and he has something. It looks like... Can you send me this photo so I can zoom in? Because I yeah. can't zoom in. I, I need also, this is Twitter after Twitter compression. And, you know, Twitter has had some bad months uh, with like reducing quality and shit like that. Here so, is a uh, picture. I, <laughs> Here's a picture of uh People saying it's Matt not Heath. real in the chat. What AI generated. One? Oh, God, dude. I, I I'd say it's pretty similar there. Yeah. That AI generated. <laughs> Hold on. Is this real? Is this yeah. what he really looked yeah, yeah, like? Yeah. Or looked like? Rest in peace. That's when he takes the ring off. <laughs> Put it back on. God, oh God, please don't ever let me get old. Well, I mean, he is dead there. No, I know. They're just he, rolling no, him around. Oh, he's dead? <laughs> no, no, he's kidding. not. <laughs> no. It looks like he's stuck on a roller coaster. He's just fucking, he's terrified all the time. Shell shock, <laughs> dude. This is the single scariest photo I've ever seen in my life. I can't get over it. All right, so I got a close-up of the photo. Here's Matt Healy. <laughs> How old was he in this photo? Got to be over 100, He's right? He's decomposing before death. That's what it looks like. All right, did you send no, me a close-up of this one? I did. It's above the Prince photo. Here it is. Here it is. So here's one of them. I'm going to get a real close-up. So the thing is, you can clearly make out Taylor. And you can clearly make out Matt. Oh, I see. I see. I yeah, see. he's going like this. I see. No, here's his hand. Hi, Maddie. Watch. And here's his the profile yeah. of his face. His nose, chin, neck. Nice. You see that, Dan? No. You, you see don't the see sideburn? it? I see the sideburn. I'm, sideburn. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hate. I don't see shit. No, he's there. He's anywhere. there. Well, no, he's you there. guys are Wait, blind, maybe then. You know what? You have to relax your Come eyes and let him cross. <laughs> it's like one of those 3D puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> no, I totally see it. Here's his sideburn. Mm-hmm. There's his you get fist. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah. arm. And they're like two seconds away from kissing, right, guys? No. Yeah. That's not what I. That mean. is a faceless man. No, no, no. Yeah, That's it's a just a profile. Here you so see sideburn. Like slender man from here. Here's his hair, sideburn, ear. Okay. Yeah. Fist, arm. No, oh. you see it. Neck, jaw, right here. There's the jaw. Like a, like a nose. Pasta, okay, that's what I was seeing. What Zach was talking about. I didn't see even that. see that. This right here. Mm -hmm. I did some enhancements. Yeah, Cam sent an HD photo. Yeah. Enhance. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so it's more clear here. <laughs> there he is, Matty Healy. Age 30. You see it now? They're so cute together, right? He might be a little old for her. shit. I don't know. He's only 34. I 100% see it. Yeah. He's there. Thank God you said that. Yeah, I see it. He's in there. That's what we have as of last night. That's the whole thing? Yep. Until until uh, they make their next their next move. Okay. Do we want to go back and see if maybe uh, we think that they are mouthing the same thing? Or are we giving up? I, I believe it. Okay. After seeing all okay. the after Yay. seeing it, I believe it. Hundred percent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
The only question is, is he really Taylor Swift worthy? So that is a very important question. I don't know. Who is? That's, what? yeah. People thought Joe. That's why people were so He didn't upset. have a job. Well, yeah, he did when they started dating. That dude's like uh, bachelor material. They go in there with no fucking job. They're just handsome. That's their credentials. No, she needs a, she needs a fully complex, experienced person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> he has no pizza experience. Definitely. Nick Cannon said in an interview recently he wanted her to be the next uh, baby mama of his. That really? was on Howard. Yeah, I on think Howard. he was being uh, playful with that. He was. Uh, John Mayer. She dated John Mayer. She did. She has a song called Dear John. Very good. He's known Very to be good. a douche, right? Yeah. And he was a lot older than her when they dated. Gross. Uh, she has, yeah, and Dear John, one of the lyrics is, don't you think 19 was too young? Ooh, yeah. And shit. yeah, Speak Now is, is her next Vault album, so wait, wait, we're wait. about to go hard wait. on John Mayer. Wait, is she still shitting on him? Um, I mean, no, but like she will be, like remember when everyone was going hard on Jake Gyllenhaal when Red Vault uh, oh. came out? Oh my That's God, about she's to ruthless. John Mayer. I'm excited. Okay, hold on. How old was he when she was 19? He was 32. Mm. Yikes. John Mayer dated Swift back in December 2009, inspiring her breakup anthem, Dear John. Mm -hmm. I love that she names him, too. Yeah. Mayer had a lot of feelings about being the subject of an inflammatory song following the demise of their relationship. He discussed the humiliating experience in Rolling Stones. It made me feel terrible because I didn't deserve it. Oh, shut up. You're going to be a little baby about it? Literally, I'm pretty... let the 19-year-old write her music. Chill out. That's what you get, bro. You wanted to, you wanted to, you know, date the the cool nineteen year old rock star. Mm -hmm. so, it's on you, brother. I'm pretty good at taking accountability now, and I never did anything to deserve that. It was a really lousy thing for her to do. Wah, bitch. Next, I never got an email. Was she gonna email you? I never got a phone call. I was really caught off guard and really humiliating me at the time. Good. You, sounds like you need to be taken down a peg. Did the world a favor, John Mayer. You know why they call him John Mayer? Because he's no bucket required. Because he's like a mare, a horse. Ah. I appreciate where you're going with that. <laughs> I tried, you know what I mean? I mean, how would you feel at the lowest you've been, someone kicked you even lower? Probably like uh, John Mayer. There it is. Joe Jonas. Okay. Uh, Dreamy Joe Jonas, we're calling him. Of Joe Jonas Brothers fame, dated Swift in 2008. The pair had tumultuous breakup that inspired a cringeworthy YouTube video. Excuse me, I'm clicking that. Oh my god. I, there's so much lore. I love this shit. Taylor Swift's message to Joe Jonas. 6.5. 14 years ago. Damn. All right, Ancient let's see. Ancient history. See, this one even comes with a, like, with a phone. Was it a phone? Break up with other dolls. To break up with other dolls? Okay. I wouldn't say it's that cringe, really. It's not that crazy. And Swift's most problematic song, Better Than Revenge. Which was reportedly about Jonas' ex-girlfriend, Camilla Bell. Jonas shared his thoughts about the split. I never cheated on a girlfriend. It might make someone feel better to assume or imply I've been unfaithful, but it is simply not true. Maybe there was a reason for a breakup. Maybe the heart moved on. Maybe. You were there. You tell me. Maybe. Perhaps feelings changed. Perhaps. You were there. I think they may have made up since then. She was on Ellen and said that she uh, regretted putting him on blast. That's good. We stand the Jonas Brothers, I believe. Is that right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I am truly saddened that anything I would potentially... Well, okay, so this one's not that juicy, but shout out. Calvin Harris, this is the guy. He accused her PR team of trying to make him look bad and swift went public with writing credits for Harris and Rihanna's hit. Seems to me that dating Taylor Swift is a little bit of a liability. In terms of? That, like, there's a pretty good chance she's going to put you on blast at the end of that Well, don't do her wrong. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, be good. If, you, if you're going to step in the ring with Taylor, you better not fucking wrong her. Yeah, I agree. Don't even think about it. Don't even fucking think about it. We're talking to you, Maddie Healy. Don't try anything crazy. Oh, he's going to get it worse than anyone. I can <laughs> tell he's going to fuck this up. We'll see. He's going to get a whole album called Maddie Healy, Kill Yourself or something. 
They what? She dated Harry Styles? Very short. That's odd. Tom Hiddleston. I remember this. This look kind of weird. He's old as shit. 42. Old idiot. Loser. Dumbass. Fucking idiot. Dumbass. L. Old. Poor. What? She dated the fucking werewolf from... <laughs> yeah, they were in Valentine's Day, the movie together. That's uh, Jacob? Yeah, Jacob. She dated the werewolf? <laughs> yes. You know, his uh, wife's name is Taylor Lautner. Taylor Lautner's wife's I name like is the Taylor Twilight Lautner. Movies. Yo, he's from Grand Rapids, Michigan? What? I find this funny that she dated him. I don't know why. <laughs> he's like a living meme. They dated in 2009. However, uh, Michelle managed to get a reaction out of Lautner regarding the song. She wrote a song about his ass too, huh? Back, uh, is back to December about him? That's according to this. Michelle, uh, you dated Taylor Swift. Song. I remember that. That's hilarious, he said. Should we talk about it? No, I, I don't know why you guys want to talk about it. Didn't she write a song about you? That's what she does. She writes songs. Oh, he's keeping it. He's, he knows. He's keeping it tight. Yeah, I'm not giving her another, any more material for another <laughs> song. Jake Gyllenhaal, also 42, loser, idiot. Old as shit. Prince oh. Charles looking ass. <laughs> uh, Gyllenhaal's been tight-lipped about his time with Swift. In fact, during an awkward interview, The Guardian, Gyllenhaal was markedly less chatty about the situation. I think when you're in a relationship, you're constantly scrutinized, your friends are scrutinized, but mm. at that point, he stopped talking. And he the interviewer quickly old. changed the subject. Oh, wow. They bailed him out. The interviewer asked, if you lost your legs in real life, do you think Taylor Swift would write a song about it? Like a country song? the fuck? That's a weird what? question. For me or about it? For you, like a country song. That is a weird ass question. Insane question. So that's all of them, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Shout out. To all the X's out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good.